Hi, welcome to Verse of the Day. My name is Brandon Hathaway, and I'm a preacher at the Westside Church of Christ in Owensboro, Kentucky. Thank you for joining me. We are in Luke chapter 6 today, Luke chapter 6, and I'm going to look at uh, the last few verses here, verse 46 through 49. Luke 6, looking at verse 46 through 49. And uh, I guess the main point is right here in 46 for me. It says, why do you call me Lord, Lord, and do not do what I say? I mean, he just makes this plain and straight question. Why do so many people say, Lord, Lord? Why do so many people claim to pray to God, claim to be a follower of Christ, claim to be a, uh, going to heaven? And then do not do what the Lord says. And he gives us examples. As you go into 47, it says, Everyone who comes to me and hears my word and acts on them, I will show you whom he is like. He's like a man building a house who dug deep and laid a foundation on the rock. And when the flood occurred, torrent burst against the house and could not shake it because it had been well built. But the one who has heard and has not acted accordingly it's like a man who built his house on the ground without any foundation, and the torrent burst against it, and it immediately it collapsed. And the ruin of that house was great. And the reason that the, it gives us this scenario is because, again, you, you have warnings, right? We, we've been warned. You, you look up stuff. If you're going to build a place, you know that there's a way to go about it. Now, not every house looks the same, but you have to have a solid foundation. You have to make sure that the, the ground is, is strong, that the, and then you lay down the foundation, and then you got the chief cornerstone, and then you build. And so you, you, you have a certain way in which, if you're going to make sure that it stands, it needs to be built. Right? But if you ignore those things and you just decide to, to build what you desire to build, wherever you desire to build it, without a good, strong foundation, then it will fall. And that's what he's saying about our faith is that God has told us, Jesus has told us exactly what we need to do. And if you do something that is opposite of that, then your faith is going to fall. Then the house that you've built, the, that, that faith that you've built, will not work and so again he asked the question why do you say Lord Lord and then do not keep my commandments if we're going to be children of God we're going to be joint heirs in Christ and we need to be willing to keep the Lord's commandments I want to thank you for joining me today I hope that you have a blessed and wonderful day today and if the Lord is willing I'll talk to you later